Okay, so um, before we true up the outside and cut the taper, um, I need to make kind of like a mandrel. And if you have something that's accurately ground, you can use that. Um, this here is some uh, ground shafting, half inch ground shafting. And we're gonna use this. So you can see I have it indicated. Let me try blocking the light. We're within uh, less than a half, which should be more than enough than what we need it for. The more accurate you can get it, the better. Uh, basically, we just want two accurate um, center drills in it because what we want to do is we're going to mount this between centers with one of the collets on it and we're going to indicate across the collet to get our taper dead on. Again, the more accurate bar that you can get, the better it is. I'm just working with what I have. This should be perfectly acceptable um, and you know we'll prove it once we're done. So first things first, I'm just going to come in here and face this real quick. yourself a nice accurate uh, center in there and I already have one in on the other side so let's go ahead I'm gonna put my centers in here and we can mount it on there to um, get our compound angle okay so I got my uh, headstock center here and you don't necessarily have to have one that fits in the headstock you can uh, just hold a piece in the chuck and just uh, make a 60 degree angle on there and I got a dead center in uh, my tailstock here and now this all hinges on your lathe being in alignment, which I know this lathe is, or it should be. We can double check it. We'll check this really easily. Take a razor blade or something and just pinchy in the two centers. So we should be vertically aligned and we should be aligned with the axis and we look pretty good. And as I said, that's just a quick eyeball check. I do know that this lathe is aligned, the tailstock is aligned with the headstock. Um, I've done the alignment test, uh, you know, when I moved this to the new house and redid everything. So um, we're going to put our bar in place. Let's make sure we have nothing in there. We're just setting it in the tailstock there, lock it down lightly. Uh, I can't get the whole thing in frame, but obviously you get the idea. Okay, so I'm going to get a collet. I'm going to slide it on there. Tension this up. Alright, I'm going to get you probably a little bit of a better angle of this. 
uh, see how this works out here. So this taper on here is eight degrees. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna first my eyeball here. I'm gonna set eight degrees off of ninety. Right about there. And we're just gonna snug it down on one so that way there we can still tap. So we turn our rest around. We're gonna get our indicator and we're gonna see if we can how we're gonna reach around here. Probably reach around like this. Hmm 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 hmm. Uh no, can't do it like that. So Let's do it like this. Trying to do this in a way that maybe you guys can see it and I can see it at the same time. Alright, this works pretty good right here, actually. If I do this, do it like that. Uh, let me move you again. So we just we're just running against the collet, and uh, what we're doing here is just running the compound against it, and we're just checking for deviation. Okay, so we got you in here, and I hope we can see what I'm doing here. So we're at zero on that side. We're coming in. All right, so we're low there. If we're low there, it means it's going to come a little bit towards me. Oh, still a little high on that end. Still low there. I'm just coming a little bit more. And that actually looks pretty close. Uh, we're off 
by a little bit, just a little, little bit. That looks pretty good right there. Still off by just a hair. There you go. We're not moving at all. Moving just a just a hair. You can see that. Just a hair. Like less than half a thousands. Um let me try that again. And you can barely barely see that. Yeah, we're, we're not moving there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock down the compound here. All right, we're just gonna backtrack to the beginning again. Reset zero, just make sure we didn't move. And we're good. I'm gonna call that good. Okay, so we know now our compound is set at our eight degree angle that we need. And uh, we can get the part in the, uh, on the threads here. And we can trim the outside, face it, and then start doing the taper. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna face this. I'm going to speed up the lathe just a hair. I'm going to face this, and then we're going to turn the outside here, and then we can start working on the, uh, the taper. So let me just see what I'm feeding at. Five thousandths for a revolution. Sounds good to me. Just putting on it that nah, I don't like that finish. Don't like that finish. So 
this tool has a different nose radius on now. Too bad of a finish. Let's see if we can get a little bit better. I'm gonna just take five thousand. I'm going to be turning that edge down anyway, but I just want a nice chamfer on the back. And, uh, that's a pretty good finish. I want that shiny or anything, I could polish that up, but that's, uh, that's a nice finish on that part. Nice turn finish. Um, okay, so now we can get going on our taper. Okay, so we're going to start um, cutting our collet taper. And it shouldn't be too critical about depth. Um, I'm going to hold it probably about an eighth of an inch, uh, an eighth to a sixteenth from this lip here, uh, the edge of its seat. If you cut it too deep or anything, this seat's too too deep. You can just trim a little bit off the face. It's not a huge issue as long as you don't run into your spindle threads. Um, we just basically want enough for that uh, nut out there to grab this um, this ring and this taper here. So uh, let's start. So disengage my feeds because I don't need them. And uh, we're going to have adder. And I know I'm going to need almost all the swing of my compound here, so I'm just setting up for that.
Okay. That looks good to me. We're going to leave that right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, this guy here. Camper. I just went over with some 240 grit and that's just taking the highs off that's not really taking a lot of uh, material off so And yeah, we got contact all the way around. Yeah, we got transfer and contact all the way up. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. I can see it here, 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 here. So we got we got contact through. We might have a little bit of a high spot right there. Right there. That looks, that looks a little better. Yeah, that actually holds itself in when I push it in. A little bit of a high spot right there. Right in the front.
Yeah, that, that's a really good fit now. Now that's stuck in there. Yeah, we got a really, really nice fit in there now. Okay, so I can still see I'm hitting high here and there. What I'll do is I'll just work those two spots down and then we'll get um, a nice contact all the way around. But you can see we're hitting high here and here. We're transferring on the back. It's just those two little rings. All right, so we got nice good contact all the way around. Uh, I just sanded off a high spot there and we're pretty good. You got a few little highs, like I'm a little shallow here. And in the middle, but we got we got a bunch of good contact areas, and you can see it actually holds itself in pretty well. Um, and we're about should be pretty close. We're a little over a sixteenth uh, sticking out here, so that should be more than enough. If we need more, we can just cut it down. Not a, not a huge issue. So now what I need to do is uh, wash my hands first and uh, clean up the lathe here a little bit. We need to turn out the turn down this outside diameter down to 50 millimeter uh, for my nut. So let me just uh, wipe down the lathe here, uh, clean off the ways, and uh, we're set up to do that. <laughs> 